gigantic storm has been raging on Jupiter for more than 350 years. It is a swirling vortex of gas that is so massive it could swallow the entire Earth. And yet, it is shrinking. The red spot was first observed by Cassini in 1665. He called it a permanent spot, and little did he know how right he was. For over three centuries, this storm has persisted on Jupiter's surface. Jupiter is a gas giant, meaning it is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. The red spot is a storm that is formed by the interaction of these gases with the planet's powerful magnetic field. Over the years, scientists have used spacecraft and telescopes to study the red spot. And what they have discovered is truly astonishing. The red spot is about 1.3 times the Earth's size, with winds going up to 650 km per hour. It is incredible to think that this storm has been raging for so long and now it is disappearing. The red spot is not just a surface feature, it extends deep into Jupiter's atmosphere. But why is it shrinking? Scientists believe that the shrinking of the red spot might be due to the changing temperature and pressure in Jupiter's atmosphere. It is also possible that the storm is interacting with other features of the planet such as the weather patterns and Jupiter's internal heat and energy. NASA's Juno spacecraft is currently orbiting Jupiter and sending back stunning images of the red spot. But even with all this data, we still don't know what causes the storm to persist for centuries, and also why it has been changing color over the years. 350 years ago, this storm used to be three times the Earth's size, and look where it is today. Beginning in 2012, astronomers noticed that the red spot is slowly fading away. The storm is now shrinking at a rate of over 900 km per year, and also changing its shape from oval to circular. At this rate, scientists expect the storm to completely vanish in the next 20 to 30 years. However, there is also a possibility that the great red spot is just going through a natural cycle, and it is just experiencing a temporary reduction in size, and it will eventually bounce back to its normal size.